Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us once again for our Thursday night exercise of sharing out the energy to all and everything and everyone. So, Adam, Marianne, Elaine, Glennis, welcome to you all and Orla and anyone else is going to join in shortly. So, I hope you've all had a good week or if not good, a better week than usual and that you've taken care of yourselves and your family and loved ones. That usually makes a good week. So, okay, Orla, Karen, Sarupa, hi. Just about to start. So if you all, you, you all know the usual routine, if you get yourself nice and comfortable in the chair, whatever, and then make sure your phone's off or no one can disturb you over this next 20 minutes, half an hour. Once you sort of have a wriggle around, get yourself comfortable in a good place, in a good position, we'll make a start. Okay, firstly, we start off by taking a nice deep breath and breathe it in nice and deeply, not in your chest, but breathe it right down into your stomach. And as you can feel that breath forming in your stomach, just be aware of it. It feels a little bit different, perhaps a bit smoother and certainly a very calming influence. And now as we exhale, be aware of any negative energy or any, any negative energies basically that you've come to terms with, you've dealt with, you've faced that you've put them away. Just feel all of that neg negative energy leaving you with that out breath. Now let's take another deep breath, a second deep breath down and let it follow the same course down to your stomach as that first one. And as the two of them merge together, they are making one ball of blue healing energy. And as you focus on this ball of energy, just be aware gradually of how more intense it is becoming. And that is a great feeling. It's not negative. It's a beautiful feeling of peace that begins to spread over you and through you. And again, as you exhale, be aware of the last of that negativity leave you. And in its place, this blue healing light, which I'll describe as mist, fills all the gaps where that negativity was. And now there is none of it left. Its place has been taken by the pure healing energy. And lastly, let's take a last breath, a third breath, nice and deep again, down to the pit of your stomach. And as previously, become aware of the two previous ones is being joined by the third and last deep breath. And feel it working their way all through your body and everywhere they go the healing energy almost leaves a trail a trail of peace and quiet and unconditional love and all those beautiful positive feelings that perhaps we're not aware of as often as we could be and just take a minute or two to enjoy this blue mist working its way all around your body. Almost every living cell is being touched by this energy. And if you have any dis-ease or aches and pains in your body, 
or your mental body. Just be aware that this healing light is not just for them. It's for those energies around you and are a part of you. And now you become aware of that mist, that blue healing energy is radiating out from your body, from every part of your body to every direction. This blue mist begins to leave you. And then you notice it is working its way. It's covering the earth, our planet like a beautiful blue blanket and as it works its way over the surface just be aware of all the hospitals clinics any building any situation where there are people giving care and others that are there to receive care and just know that all of those people have access to the healing energy if they wish. It is their choice. And we also think of all the paramedics who are busy bringing people that need care to the others who give care. And the administration, everybody that is connected with these healing establishments the energy is for them, all of them, if they choose. If they don't, maybe they'll do it next time. Perhaps they're just not ready, but that is their choice. And the blue mist is continuing to work its way around and over our planet. And as we look down at our planet, you can see that every living entity, anything that lives and grows and dies on our planet is also being touched by this healing mist. And just know that all of these other entities, these other living things have the choice to accept, to become a part of the blue healing energy that we are all spreading around to everybody and everything. And lastly, we think of our planet in the middle of all of this. The planet can also choose to accept or resist it is there for them as it is for everything and everyone we'll just take a few moments now to have that picture in your mind of our lovely planet our home wrapped up in this blue blanket and as we see this we can see areas on our planet that are suffering misfortune or disease whether they be natural or if they're man-made disasters. Either way, as always, everything is all connected together. 
we think of the oceans. Then we see the blue mist working its way down through the water, down to the darkest depths, spreading this blue energy around, bringing the healing energy to all those creatures that live and die on the bottom of our oceans. And we also see our ocean now as being clean and pure with no bits of plastic, large or small, floating around and sometimes getting caught by a bigger creature which ultimately leaves in the death of that animal that um, was unfortunate to pick the yeah, plastic up I mean we can also spend a little bit of time thinking of all the wildlife or the animals the domesticated ones as well as the wild ones that they all live life as it was meant to be for them When we see all the trees, all the plants, all of the crops that are growing, that they too are being covered and surrounded in this blue mist, bringing them to the fulfillment of their purpose of bringing the fruit or even being there for other animals' benefit. And now let's really focus on radiating this blue mist out around our planet for anything, everyone that chooses to become a part of it. It covers them a little bit more intensely with this beautiful healing covering. And I'll leave you for a few minutes in the quietness for that imagery, that vision to almost take root in your mind so it is always there for you.
So now it is time to gradually bring your awareness back to your physical body. And as you do so, allow the vision that you have of our planet covered in the blue energy. Allow that to be with you all the time for you to share with others as and when they are prepared to receive it. You know, I'd like you, as you begin to return, just allow yourselves to open your eyes. Have a bit of a stretch in your chair. Maybe rub your hands together. Rub your feet on the floor. Anything like that will help you to ground. And then gradually just stand up gently, slowly. And if need be, just steady yourself with a chair or table, anything. But please don't leave the room until you feel totally grounded and balanced. So that's the end of the meditation for tonight. So thank you all joining. Um, in a few minutes time, we're going to have a bit of a question and answer session. So all of those that wish to join in, just please stay linked. Just stay here where you are. Okay. So those of you that wish to go, that's fine. Those of you that want to stay, that's fine also. also. So a few minutes and we'll make a start. Okay. Until then. A quick pit stop, perhaps. Thank you. Okay, guys, are we all here that wants to be here? That's a trick question, isn't it? So, excuse me, anyone got any questions that I can answer? No. Ooh. I've got a question from Orla. Can anyone offer hands on healing to others or do you need to work with a healer before you do that? Um, it's, that's a bit of a two part question really. So it's gonna get a two part answer. Um, anyone can offer hands on healing to others, but, or however, I would put a, um, a clause in there that says, Firstly, it begins with the intent that you want to share it with that person. And secondly, you really need a bit of knowledge before it's just as easy to do as much harm to someone as what as it is to give them healing. So there's several things you can do to make sure is to 
firstly i say that you make sure you wash your hands and get any of your daily energy off your hands so they're clean otherwise there's no good offering to someone with um, dirty hands not necessarily physical dirt but energetically because all you'll probably do is to convey that uh, that mess for you say onto the person that's receiving it the the yeah, quick answer is yes with conditions i hope that answers your question okay thank you manda's got thank you tony manda is that thank you for the meditation or you have a question no okay i don't think there's any more come on this is another one quick look okay well that was a good question and answer wasn't it well i'll give you a bit more warning today um Next Thursday, we'll go back to our routine that sort of began a few months ago. But the first Thursday in each month, we'll have a question and answer after the main meditation. So those of you that want to be there, be there. If you've got friends, please bring them. Because the more people that get involved in this, the better off it is for everyone and everything on our planet, including ourselves. So, thank you all. And I'm going to log off now. To okay, that's great. Oh, hang on. Woo, 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 woo. Super, where? Super, super, where have you been? Hiding in the shadows. Uh, oh, hang on. Someone's all woken up. <laughs> Sarupa, why don't you keep still? When sending healing to self others on request is it good also after oh. it doesn't keep counts oh. okay start again when sending healing to self others on request is it good also after sending to send to send across to all who may be experiencing the same so they can choose to receive like we send out yeah you can you can send out healing to who you wish providing you have to accept that not everybody wants to receive it so i guess you could be a bit selective otherwise sending out sending out healing to people that don't know what it is don't want it maybe a little bit frightened of it your healing is merely sending a threat to them whatever they're um thoughts and fears are you probably um making them a bit worse because you're surrounding with an energy that they've got no idea what it is or where it came from because yeah. as you say like we send that we send out the healing to all the people anyone it's available to anyone especially those that choose to receive it so i hope that i answered that one all right Oh, hang on. Sarupa's so got another bit. So they can, yeah. In answer to, I've just got your full question. Um, maybe experiencing the same. Yes, when you're sending healing to yourself, you basically you're generating it from within you to stay within you. If others on, if others request you for healing, then. Yes, no reason why you shouldn't send it to them, providing you're aware of what you're actually doing. And as we just mentioned. So I hope that answers correctly. Um, I suppose one way to try it is if, if you give yourself healing um, and you get a headache, you know you didn't really need it at that point in time. So make sure you've got some Panadol with you. They're a good healer. Anyway, I hope that answers for you okay thank you very much um, um i thought i saw one from amanda okay amanda i have a question about healing if you are unwell i'm assuming that you shouldn't offer uh it's gone why do you keep disappearing on me oh man 
I think the question is about sending people healing when you yourself aren't well. Um, the main school of thought, I think, is as long as energetically you're clean, maybe not physically well, but when you send out, when you send healing out to anyone, you've got the old sort of thought is that 100% of that healing energy will come to you to share, but you only share 90% of it, not consciously, but there's usually about 10% of the energy saved for yourself. So that when you finish doing the healing, you don't feel worn out and tired and exhausted. So there's no reason why that 10% couldn't or wouldn't be used to work on yourself, to bring you some healing, some peace. So, okay, I hope that answers your question. Uh -huh. Okay, are we all happy? You can shout as loud as you like because I can't hear you. So as long as you like, shout yes. And then we can have our dinner. <laughs> Good. I, I think we've answered everybody that was asking. Okay. Well, we'll finish it for now. And so you've got a week to put questions together if you want answers put questions together anyway okay do have a good week thank you for joining and being part of it and the more energy we generate the more use it has the more entities it benefits okay then guys and gals we'll see you when we're looking at you i guess okay do have a great week bye